Good morning. Yeah. How did you sleep? Not long enough. Can I get like five more minutes? No. <laughs> it's time for you to get up. So, unique. Yes. What's your wake up ritual? Um, usually I kinda snooze for like two, three times. Um, this time I actually woke up on the second try, which is good. Open the window and let some light in because otherwise it's Dark in here and we'll get our shower routine going. I've had a long day. Describe yourself in a hashtag. A hashtag, the category is fabulous. <laughs> Heels, flats? Mm, I prefer flats because I gotta get around. What's your favorite time of day? My favorite time of day is whenever I'm having a good time. What's three things you couldn't live without? Three things I can't live without would be the vlog my baby and my racket. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is red. Three celebrities dead or alive. Who would you want to have dinner with? My niece Almani. Also Oprah, because I missed the last dinner. And I don't know, I like Oprah. Oprah is very popular. What made you start YouTube? I started YouTube because I wanted a way to document my travel experiences when I went to South Africa. I never traveled before, like overseas, and so I wanted a way that my family could connect with me. What's one thing people don't know about you? Um, one thing people don't know about me is that I'm a little shy and timid sometimes. Like, yeah, I'm really extroverted, outgoing, and expressive, but like sometimes I hold back. What's the best piece of advice you've received? The best piece of advice I have with these is speak up for yourself. What do you love most about your body? The thing I love most about my body is probably that it keeps going with me every single day, even if I don't take care of it like that. But I kind of get fresh, so y'all stand outside until I come back. Wait, wait, one more question. Yeah. Do you like to shower alone or with your partner? <laughs> Both of them. Can I join? Boy, I'll be the white day. Yes. Hey. Okay. Are you a tea or coffee girl? Um, I would say tea me, please. Make it sweet with a little bit of lemon and a whole lot of ice. Diamonds or pearls? Give me diamonds, baby. What's your favorite board game? My favorite board game, what is it called? The Game of Life. What's a daily affirmation you tell yourself? A daily affirmation is, I'm bigger than my problem. Mm. Who's your woman crush? Mm, maybe my baby. Who's your guy crush? Uh, if I had to pick a guy crush, I can't really say who he is because... <laughs> what have you changed since being on this platform? I've definitely like moved around a bit, went through a lot, but also like found really good people that's for me. I feel like I was able to sift through those who are for me and those who are not. Do you have any superpowers? I would say that my superpower is probably my gift of gab. Any regrets in life? Yeah, going to college. Why is that? It's so expensive. <laughs> How do you feel about the state of the world? I feel like the state of the world could be so much better, especially when it comes to things like global warming and equal rights. If I could think of anything to do to actually make the world better is just to maybe somehow have a universal law or constitution that allows people to travel anywhere that they want without restrictions. Yeah. Let's they call it gloss. Mm, lip gloss and babe. <laughs> What do you do for work? I work in recruiting services. I also work in construction. I'm a bartender and a server, as well as a brand ambassador. And then I got to use some for the podcast. So a lady with many traits. Yeah, she's talented or whatever. When I'm on Lord, no, I did this shit with a gift. No, I did this shit without some job asking me to pitch. I don't need no handouts. The paper coming different. Gave you notes you never stay. One day you'll beat the rhythm. Do you find what you do rewarding? Mm. 
it's a love-hate relationship with my work for sure like there's days where i feel like what i'm doing actually means something so when i'm able to you know be a listening ear and be there for my customers but it's just menial work to me to be honest i don't know i feel like i can have a greater impact least favorite aspect of your day-to-day -day life my least favorite aspect of my day-to-day -day life will probably be sitting in traffic <laughs> Do you have any pets? I do. Her name is Sage. Let's go see her. This is Sage. As y'all can see, she's having her breakfast. She's eating romaine today. If you could choose anything, what would you do? Um, if I could choose anything, I probably would be a digital nomad, meaning that I would travel the world, capture my memories like I do now, but be able to do that with other countries, other cultures, languages, and really just take my journeys on a worldwide tour. Sounds fun. <laughs> yeah. Are you in a relationship? I am. I've actually been in a relationship for about four years now, and it's going great. Where are you from? I am from Richmond, Virginia. We are the capital city or whatever. If you haven't been here, then come swing back. Come see me. Is there anywhere else that you'd like to live instead? 100%. I want to be triple, quadruple, tricoastal. I want to live in Mexico, London, and maybe like a Caribbean island in somewhere in Africa, like Ghana or South Africa. If you could turn back the hands of time, what would you change? Um, I probably would be by way sooner. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing right now? So I usually take like three tablets a day and I have one for high blood pressure and one for like managing blood pressure and cholesterol. And then I also take an aspirin, but I only do that once and I do these ones twice. How is your blood pressure these days? I actually don't check it cause it just psychs me out. So I kind of live in the unknown. Okay. What's your favorite part of being a woman? I would say that my favorite part about being a woman is using gender norms when they are convenient for me. So for example, I never take out the trash at work. <laughs> what are you most proud of? My resiliency, just how I've been able to just go through what I'm growing through and still remain beautiful and kind hearted and just have a zest for life no matter what. On a scale of 1 to 10, how excited about life are you right now? That's a tricky question, y'all. I think that for me, it's probably like a 6. 6? Yeah, like something like really great just happened to me recently where it took it up a notch. But I would say that I've been riding out at like a 4.5 for a minute now. Okay. Where's somewhere you'd like to go that you've never been? Bali or Thailand, maybe somewhere in Japan like Tokyo. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, I'm a girl little girl. Window or aisle seat? Give me a window, baby, because I gotta vlog the views. <laughs> How are you mentally? I would say that I'm definitely in a better place. I'm in hermit mode right now, and for y'all who don't know what that means, it's basically a moment of deep introspection in a unique way to kind of like reflect on your life and work on yourself to be a better person. Okay. Would you consider yourself spiritual or religious? Well, I feel like I'm um, religious because like that's the foundation of Kind of like how I grew up. My mom is a minister and I grew up in a church. So we went to church like maybe like six times a week. And I learned a lot of my practices there. Mm -hmm. And so good morning. 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 But over time, like as I've grown up, I've managed to step into spirituality more and be able to connect with God in a deeper way, but also using like very esoteric like practices and being shameless about that. Okay. Any celebrities you look up to? Celebrity that I look up to would probably be anybody that's shameless. They are someone of the LGBT community and really talented at what they do. Who's your biggest inspiration in your family? 
My biggest inspiration in my family right now would be my nephew AJ. He's overcome a lot in the last few months and I'm just proud of like his growth and how he's been able to like get through a really really challenging time and overcome that and still be like so pure and sweet and such a gentleman and like optimistic like that's amazing that's dope do you believe in second chances yeah i do i feel like everybody makes mistakes in life everybody deserves a second chance because we're human but i also would say don't let somebody repeatedly do the same thing over and over again and you expect a different result like i think that's a core character value if somebody is over repetitive fuck a rapper mm -hmm. And what's a trend that you'd like to see disappear forever? Oh my god, a trend that I want to disappear forever is when people do this split screen on like Instagram and TikTok and basically they stare into the camera as a reaction but they never say nothing towards somebody else's video. You gotta go. I agree. <laughs> This is a nice car. Oh, thank you. What is it? It's actually an Audi Q5. Okay, cool. So, where are you off to now? I am about to go to my construction job. How long have you been working there? Since February. Okay, and how are you finding it? It has its highs and lows, like... <sighs> How can I say it? I did get a raise recently, which is good, but I don't know, sitting at a desk, it like gets to me sometimes. Yeah. What do you listen to on the radio? Honestly, you guys, I like this station on Sirius. Babe likes 44, but my go-to station is all the way at the top. It's this one. It's called the 10 Spot. Pop. They play so many like good songs from like back in the day. Listen, cool kids, like what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, then unique. Okay, so I'm about to go to work because I'm about to be late. Like I need to be driving off in like a minute. So when I get back home, we'll answer more questions. <laughs> Hey Unique. Hey. What you been doing with yourself? I just left a row class and I got a good workout and I can feel it all in my shoulders and my hips. Okay. Another question for you. Yeah. What's your biggest insecurity? Mm, probably that I don't got a big butt. Do you want kids? Yeah, I think I do want kids, but I don't know if I want to actually raise them. So maybe I'll be a good god mommy or a surrogate. Hmm. <laughs> How many kids do you want? Um, like one or two, three max. If you won the lottery, what's the first thing you'd do? I would probably pay my student loans. How much is your student loans? Like $46,000. Wow. Yeah. What's your go-to workout routine? I don't really have one, but I would say anything that's like interactive, so like dancing, yoga, walking, those would be my favorite. If you died today or tomorrow, would you feel complete in the decisions you made in your life? Probably not. Like, I feel like I have so much more to give and to offer. And I don't know, I just feel like, I would just be like, dang, I didn't even maximize it or like make the most of my time here. What are you most into, looks or brains? Definitely brains. I feel like if you can mentally stimulate me, you might can get in my pants. <laughs> What do you admire about your partner? How thoughtful and considerate she is. She has a way of like just taking one for the team and I really love that about her. What did you want to be at the age of 12? At 12, I wanted to be an OBGYN and then like I ended up getting my period and I saw the blood and I was just like, I don't think I can do this. I get too freaking squeamish. When was the last time you had sex? Mm, maybe like day before last. Was it good? Mm. What's your favorite social media platform and why? YouTube, because I like creating something out of nothing, just bringing 
my memories, my experiences to life through like my creative abilities, but also I have like an amazing support system for you guys, which makes it my favorite. What's your guilty pleasure? Guilty pleasure definitely would be like eating out and dining probably. A song that holds special place in your heart? Who would have thought I get you? It's special to me because it's me and Babe's song. That's just a song that we had at the very beginning of our relationship. And so it's really meaningful. An easy skin tip that works for you right now? I would say wash your sheets at least once a week and it'll transform your skin. Her. What's your stance on politics? I don't like them. <laughs> What causes are you passionate about? LGBT rights, black rights, things around immigration laws. How would your friends describe you in three words? Probably somebody who is selfless, fun to be around, and somebody that they can open up to. Got some more questions for you. Okay. Hardest thing about being underrated? I would say the hardest thing about being underrated is definitely that your talents go unnoticed. I feel like it's a lot of bullshit out here on the internet and true talented creators being overlooked and underrated is like really difficult because you put a lot into what it is that you do. So yeah, that's the hardest. Have you had any downfalls? Um, yeah, I would probably say like some of my decision making and friends and relationships will probably be my biggest downfalls. How did you overcome them? Um, just by being discerning of the energy that's around me and also not feeling desperate to have like people in my life and being able to, you know, have an independence for myself and who's ever meant for me will be for me. Where do you see yourself in three years time from now? I hope that I have a home overseas. Favorite book? Uh, favorite book will probably be something from childhood. It's called I Love You Forever. What scares you most? Probably dying alone. What makes you happy? I feel the happiest when I'm traveling. Any podcast recommendations? Podcasts like The Cozy Chat or For the Healthy Holes, Talk Tantra to Me, Sex with Emily, Horrible Decisions. It's so many. What TV series are you into right now? I've been watching Sex Life, Harlem, we've also watched The Ultimatum recently, and anything around like love and relationships, that's my go-to. A movie that makes you cry? Brooklyn. Every time the mom dies, it's like I've never seen it before, and I cry hysterically. Smash or pass, future? Pass. Call or text? Call me. You got any hidden talents? I can put my legs behind my head. <laughs> What do you love most about yourself? One thing that I love the most about myself is my resiliency. Just being able to overcome challenges and still come out on top. What makes you angry? Something that makes me angry is when I'm driving and people don't put their signal on. So what am I supposed to do with it? When was the last time you cried? The last time I cried was actually today. Why? Just adulting. Adulting be hard and people be pissing me off and I got real emotional. <laughs> Your most treasured item? I don't know, maybe like my rings because they come from people that I love and care about the most. What's your best quality? My best quality is being sweet. What's your worst quality? Being late. Name someone on your block list. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Is it true you can speak German? Yes, my number is unique. What is the unique journey? The unique journey is basically my life experiences that I document, whether visually or audio. Any goals for your podcast? Goals for my podcast to have a live show in Richmond. Like, that's one of my biggest goals. And lastly, where can people find you? You can find me at Unique Terche on social media as well as the Journey Free podcast on all your streaming platforms for your listener pleasure. Well, thanks, Unique. Thanks for answering all my questions today. It's been great hanging with you. Yeah, y'all too. Come back and see me. When I'm on, Lord, no, I did this shit with a gift. No, I did this shit without some job asking me to pitch. I don't need no handouts, the paper coming different. Gave you notes, you never stay, one day you beat the rhythm. Or say I ride for you, but you already knew that. Won't say it, I'ma prove that. Long way from home, but when I touch down, I'ma need the crew back. Same roots, same faces.